I'm the cat toy lady. And today's video is going to be a super cute cat house. It's going to look like a milk carton. And you remember how old fashioned milk cartons used to have the little missing section on the side? So for this one, this guy's going to be missing. This is going to be really easy, really inexpensive. So let's get started. The base of this cat house is going to be four pieces of foam board. So that's four dollars. And then any extra is just how you decorate it. And for me, it's going to be some easy sheets of paper. No painting needed. First step, take two of your foam boards and cut the short side down to 15 inches. So basically we're taking like five inches off. Now that both sheets are cut, we're going to measure on the long edge 17 inches up. We're going to mark it on both sides and make a line to connect it. Then we're going to lightly cut through just the top sheet of paper on the foam board not all the way through. We're just going to make a nice little score. Once you have that score, just give it a pop and bend it on that edge. Repeat that on the second sheet. So on the opposite side of your score line from that 17 inches, you're going to measure 10 inches up. You're going to cut off that last three inches. Now we're just going to mark where the middle is. That should be right at seven and a half inches. We're going to cut this panel into a triangle, cutting off each corner. So you're going to connect from this corner to that middle mark that you made and this corner to this middle mark and cut on those lines all the way through. Do this to that second piece that you have that's 15 inches wide. There we go. Now for the other two sheets. We're going to go ahead and cut this sheet similar to what we did on the other sheet. We're going to measure 17 inches on both sides of the long end and then do a light score connecting the two spots. Remember, you don't want to cut all the way through, just barely through that first layer of paper. And bend it just like you did before. Now flip it over to where that cut side is down. Go ahead and just fold it in half and help that crease. We want the crease to be visible. It will help with this next part. So measuring from that crease, measure 10 inches up. The reason we're not measuring just three inches from the other side is that these boards do not always come exactly 30 inches. We're going to do that same light scoring connecting these dots too. Don't cut all the way through. You can go ahead and bend on that spot too. Can you see how it's making the shape of one side of the milk carton? Go ahead and repeat this on your last piece. For the next step, take one of your sheets and we are going to put a nine inch hole on the largest panel of your biggest sheet. We want it to come two and a half inches up before the circle starts. You can use whatever tricks you want. Draw around a bowl. Just draw it with your hand. I like using a floppy tape measure as my compass. So what I'm going to do is find the midline area just so I have an idea of about where it is. And just so you know, my little floppy tape measure here, I'm missing the beginning of it. I put my push pin in at the one inch mark, and then whenever I'm measuring, I just add an extra inch. Then I put my pencil through the tape measure. That way I can have an anchor and be able to still draw on my paper. I'll show you. So I need to find seven inches up, and that's where I'm going to put my push pin. There we go. So I'm gonna push my push pin into that seven inch mark and put my pencil in at five and a half inches because remember it's really four and a half inches I just have to add an inch and put my pencil in at five and a half inches and then I draw my circle Ta -da! and we have a circle now cut that out <laughs> it's out okay so I lied you really need five pieces well it's up to you. I'd like to put a bottom on the milk jug and I almost forgot about that. So take one last piece so we can have a base. Go ahead and trim this up. It needs to be 19 and a half inches by 14 and a half inches. Just like that. I think it'll be easier to stick our sheets on while everything's lying nice and flat. So I want to go ahead and do that. The ones that say milk on them, I am going to put on my widest pieces. So making sure that it, it'll be visible, that this is how it sits. I'm going to put milk right here above my circle. These are just things that I typed up real quick on the computer. And I'm using rubber cement, but you can use any type of glue you want. And I am just going to eyeball it. You can measure it out to make sure it's perfectly even if you'd like. 
There we go. So I'm just sticking our milk sign on, pressing nice and firmly. I like it. I'm gonna take our second large sheet and just in the middle, I'm going to end up sticking our milk sign. All right. Now we're on to our two smaller pieces. Making sure that the cut side is up, we are going to put our missing birdie pictures. All right, let's get started on this one. And again, I am just eyeballing. And by the way, this bird is just one of those free clip arts. There we go. Go ahead and do the other one. It's time to start assembling. First step, take these two pieces and we are going to glue that little three inch piece on top. We're going to glue them together. I am using a low temp glue gun. Do not use hot glue. I say it in like every video, but it makes it puff up. Not a good idea. Just line them up and press together. For the next part, we are going to glue this into place. The easiest way is to let that point flop on the inside and then glue the two sides one at a time together and then worry about gluing the point wherever it sits. I'll show you. I have it just sitting open. I'm going to run a bead of glue all the way down on one side and then I'm going to sit this at a 90 degree angle in the glue. You can peel off any glue that sticks out. Don't worry about any of the glue that shows on the inside. Then to make things easy, these little points right here, just give them a little squish on both ends. We're now going to run glue along this piece right here and then fold this piece over and line everything up. As the glue cools, you can clean up any that you see. It just rolls right off. Then that top triangle, we're gonna glue from the inside. Just go ahead and line everything up, making sure everything is sitting nice and flush. And we're on a bead of glue going down that seam. And just let that cool. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're going to run some glue going down that seam. And with the point on the inside, you're going to line everything up and press it firmly together. Now I'm going to run glue down this top piece again and then set this on top. I'm going to glue this flap the same way. The easiest way to glue the bottom on is just to set this on top of the sheet and then glue from the inside reaching through the hole. So there we go, all done, very cute. When company comes over, you don't have to be embarrassed by your cat stuff that's out. Your cat is going to love it, is going to hold heat, is going to be a nice safety nest. So I made it easy for my big girl to be able to get into. She's 17 and a half pounds. I joke around and I call her Andre the Giant because she's just so much larger than the rest of our cats. And of course, I have lots of awesome toys for you to check out. Big, small, things that they can play with by themselves or that you can interact with them. So check out some of these videos and don't forget, hit that subscribe button. You want to see what's going to come next. And if you haven't seen the sign before, give it a good look. Now go make your cat some toys.